Good morning, quest for details. We're on a quest for treasure. We are headed out to the California coast. We're gonna go swing the detector around in the sand and I don't even care what I find. I've been turned loose to hunt for treasure. You ready? I am. Free parking, free beach, it's tiny. Every time I've been by here, it's totally empty. And if you look up on the hill, there's these cool old houses. The top ones are uh, new, but then they move down in age. And it looks like they've been there forever. And then just the cool little tiny beach. Those rare California spots where we're going to be actually, you know, with inside the car the whole time. And there's free parking. Okay. Getting right out of the car. Dime on the ground, first score. So far we've got a button and a couple other things. This is our first high signal. Right by the entrance in and out. And, oh, it's a fishing lure, so that's okay. So start. Okay, here's the cleanup off of that. We're gonna go to a different beach. That one is a really cute little beach, but not much on it, but not much garbage either. Uh, big old lead fishing weight, a couple dead lighters. I think this was like a submarine. It's like half plastic, uh, two quarters fishing lures, lead weight, and a dime. And a buckle, but probably not oil because we're just at the beach. So, on to the ridges. I'll see you at the next spot. Thing that I have learned, stand somewhere where when you're trying to film, the waves will come up and wash you away. No, but uh, when I get down, of course you got to ground balance every time you change from wet to dry on sand. I also never touch the ground every time I do with my Garrett, it makes a sound by trying to get as close as I can. I turn the sensitivity down to where it isn't chattering, and then I go over to that wet sand like that, and that's what I ground balance off of for the really wet area and it really makes it quiet. It's like a secret thing. You try and go around by on top of that and it'll do okay and then you get over on the wet and pump it a few times and you get back on here and it's just quiet. So, that's what I found. Well, it's got nailed by a wave and it's big old, uh, it came all the way up there and now it's all the way down there. But look what it left behind. Okay, we might have rain coming in. This is what it looks like. So, we're getting out while we're getting good. Keep finding these, uh, keep finding these dimes with most of the, uh, the cloud come off of them. Almost just a pure copper, 
blanks, but uh, not very many signals on this beach. Half an hour of silence in between targets. And like five other detectives, but it's good to see. Got a high 80 signal, right? But I've had a few. A lot of them been aluminum. Dump it out of here. It's right on top there. Is it in the scoop? No, it's not. One more try. Okay, let's see where it really is. One handed. That's where I can pinpoint you when I'm filming. Oh, another one of these crazy dimes. It's like the only coins on the beach are dimes, and they're all like from the same age, all worn down to nothing. Weird. Okay, well, it's a really great day though. Got to get out, and that was the point. So, any signals is a good one, especially in 80s. It's all squeaky. See you on the next one. No joke, there's another one a little ways away. And they're just worn down to nothing. They're about ready to go through the screen. That one did. So all the cloud is lost out of them. And they're just crazy. I think they look cool though. Maybe we'll make something out of them. They're all dangling. And just the copper. It's all aged and beaten. You can only see just the the original makes of it, it's pretty cool. That one I think was a penny and it's worn to nothing. Like nothing. Crazy. Hope they're okay. There's a lot of smoke. Maybe he just needs to get down to Bodega and at sunset. And he's burning it up, you know? But, okay, it should be a quarter probably. It's an 84 in the scoop. It's not in the scoop. Oh, I see it. Was that it? Wait, that was it. Later in the day, not much more to report. Just calm, peaceful, emptying out. Last people on the beach. Headlights on the highway above. And all the captains headed home to their harbors. Pulled a 1977 quarter here at the end of the beach. Um, but it's not silver, but it sure is pretty. It wiped clean like it was silver. Got my heart going. But it's my birth year, so we'll take it. But we at least we know she's with us. Okay, so here's our cleanup. This was a little exercise in uh, trying to get out and uh, get away from some of the bummer norms going on. And uh, so I went to the closest beach accessible to me and it was pretty far north and far away from population centers. And I guess on a good note, there was a lot of detectorists out there. So literally three or four on the beach at the time. Um, it was good to see everybody out there learning. Don't, um, you know, don't, don't give up. Just keep going and going. You'll find good stuff. I uh, didn't find anything great myself on this hunt, but I had been to this beach before and found these. For some reason, it scours down the clad uh, ten cent 
pieces are US dimes to where they are that thin and uh, I think they're kind of cool kind of makes them look medieval I ended up with one two three four uh, five of the super thin ones and then I have some from before so I might make a dangly uh, anklet bracelet or something uh, out of those this is like a toy submarine appropriate for the beach or perhaps a mini drone that I've captured this is a classic I believe that was done back in the day um, when those pop tops were coming off and it was uh, made into a piece of jewelry so that was our jewelry for the day here's the bottom of another car this tangle of stuff which I spent a while getting this was all tangled through some seaweed it's got a big old treble hook in there and a bar of lead this is our just spot finds getting them out of there these are some cool little stones gotta throw them in the polisher um, got a turtle got a pet turtle a belt buckle and uh, let's see one two quarters three quarters a bunch more dimes pennies um, a 77 quarter. That's my birth year. Couple ninja swords, tent stakes, and uh, some free time to just uh, let the thoughts process, which is always good. Got to process. Got to process. Hope everybody is doing okay, and uh, hope the sunlight is reaching you here and there. And until next time, remember that you can like if you did, share. If you have people to share it with, subscribe if you would, and comment below if you'd like to say anything. Hope you're getting out there somewhere, and if you can't, I hope this helps you get through. We'll see you next time. <laughs>